Hey, hey everyone. Here to do a collective read. See how you guys are doing. It's 4th of July. I hope you guys are um, enjoying your um, day. Some people have to work, so hopefully if you have to go out there, you're being safe, protecting yourself, and you're keeping your cool and keeping calm. All right. So we're going to do a uh, reading here. We're going to see how what's going on with you and your person here. Okay. Let's see how they feel about you. So let's see what the communication was between you and your person. What's the communication between you and your person? What's this communication about? All right. So we have the moon here. So with the moon energy here, this talks to me about Cancerian energy. You know, um, tomorrow is the full moon. Uh, lunar full lunar eclipse too and a full moon in cancer all right it's the second one um in the season so um you know full moons and lunar eclipses are all about um you know um shedding unnecessary uh feelings and emotions especially when it's in the house of cancer cancer is an emotion house an uh, emotional house and it's all about um what what is holding you back what is it emotionally that's keeping you from uh, ascending to the next level, whether it's within yourself, with your relationship with yourself, or your relationship with family members or others, all right? But there's some things that are not clear here. There's some questions, all right? So let's just see how your person feels about your relationship overall. So you're not really sure where things are standing is what I'm getting here. You're not really sure how your person is feeling. They may not be sure how you're feeling. Somebody may be feeling as if someone's hiding something. Hiding their emotions. Hiding their activities. Hiding what's going on with others. Um, some people are just really going to follow their intuition. And tap into their intuitive energy and, and trust in that. That's what some people are doing. But we have the five of pentacles here. As far as how your person feels. So your person wants to come back to you. So maybe this uh, is your person being scared to come back to you with the um, moon energy here. Your person could be scared to come back, but how they're feeling about the situation overall is the five of pentacles. So they do want to come back, but there's some hesitancy. It could be in reference to um, how you're going to respond to them. Um, if you're going to receive them, if you're even going to consider taking them back. Maybe they can't find you. For some of them, you may have relocated or moved since the last time you spoke. They don't know where you are. They may have come back to the residence where they left you at and you're not there anymore. You moved. So maybe they're trying to find you. Some of you, they're trying to find you. Some of you, they're, they're apprehensive about coming towards you because they're not sure if you're in a relationship with someone. They're not sure how you feel about them. Have you moved on? But they have it. So there's a lot going on within them. And it, it, it's like it's unfinished is what I'm feeling here. Unfinished business. So how does your person feel about you deep down? You two may have lived together. Or you may have just had a connection with each other. It could have been a situation. It could have been marriage. It just varies because um, there's so many of you. So deep down, nine of pentacles in reverse. This is how your person feels about you. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting an energy of your person feeling as if they didn't put enough work in this situation. They didn't put as much energy and effort in that they should have. I feel like they 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 dropped the ball too quickly. Like they feel like they dropped the ball too quickly. And maybe with this moon energy, it's like, what if? What if I would have put in more work into the situation? What if I would have, you know, stuck around longer? It's like they lost interest. It's like you feel like they lost interest. Or they feel like you lost interest, one or the other. So they feel like they may have lost. I'm thinking that they want to come back and see what's going on. It's like, hmm, what if? What if I would have put in a little bit of effort? What if I wouldn't have left so soon? Is what I'm getting here. And with the Six of Swords in reverse here underneath the deck, they're stuck thinking this. So it's a lot of what if. You know, your person is, is this is Mercury retrograde as well. So your person is thinking back about how you two were when you were together and feeling like maybe they gave up too soon on the connection. Maybe they should have put in more effort or time into the connection. Maybe there was something there. For them, it certainly is because they're still thinking about it. So they could be possibly wondering if you are too. Now, if your person was to reach out to you and they were to communicate with you, whatever they said to you, are they being honest? Are they being true? Would they keep their word? 
Let's see. Is it even worth you listening to them? Are they being sincere? So we have the Eight of Swords. So you're on guard. Your, your intuition is telling you, I don't know. I don't know if I can believe what you're saying. I don't know if I can, you know, take what you're saying seriously. I'm not really sure. This is if this person comes to you. They're definitely thinking about it if they haven't already um, come to you, okay? But if they did come to you or if they've already come to you, you're, you're the Eight of Swords energy. So you're like, hmm, maybe you're feeling as if they're not telling you the entire story. Maybe you feel as if they're hiding something. There's more to it than what they're saying to you. Things are just not adding up. So there's some things that you would want to know about it. Also, for some of you, with this person coming back to you, it would, it would really have you in a, in, a, in a state of, you know, what does this person want? Are, what are they here for? Why are they back again? Things didn't work out before. They are the ones who didn't put in the effort. They are the ones who dropped the ball. They are the ones who weren't really ambitious about the relationship. Why are they back now? This is a question here. And so you could be in your head about that, thinking that, trying to figure that out. And with the five of wands underneath the deck, it's like, yeah, okay, this person had other options. That's probably why they left me. But why are they back now? You know, there could have been a dispute or argument. There could have been a lot of drama and stress and jealousy, all kinds of mayhem going on in reference to your connection, which is why it ended. But I'm getting strongly, your person is like, hmm, what if I would have put in a little bit more work into this? What if? Maybe perhaps your person went to someone else with the five of wands in reverse. They were with someone else and um, things didn't work out. So they dropped the ball with you and they went to be with someone else. And now they're coming back and you're like, what? You know, what is this about? Why are you here? So you want to make amends now because the five of wands in reverse is somebody who wants to make amends. They want to put down the fighting, the aggravation, the drama, the other options, and they want to come to you. Now, if you and this person decided that you were going to work things out and that you were going to um, see where things were going to go, what external factors would keep you two from being successful this time around? What external factors? All right, that's one too many. I know some people like when you um, say the signs, but I'm just going to tell you what the major arcana is. We have Pisces, we have Cancer, and this could also be Scorpio for me. The moon energy represents um, Pisces and Cancer specifically, but for some of you, it could be Scorpio as well. What external factors would keep you and this person one too many? What external factors, what outside influences would keep you two from working out? Should you decide to entertain this person's, okay? So we have the six of pentacles in reverse. So someone's selfish needs, someone's self-centeredness, someone may feel like, you know, maybe they don't have enough money or someone doesn't have enough money. Um, maybe someone looks at the situation where, you know, I want to approach this person, but I'm not financially stable enough. Or I want to approach this person because I see that this person is making money and they're doing well. And so I'm trying to get in where I can fit in. So, you know, for some of you, this is a situation where you're dealing with someone who they saw a better opportunity elsewhere, took off. And now they see that you could be doing better. And now they want to come back. And this is where your intuition, you're like, you're, this is where your intuition is like, hmm, I don't know if I even want to entertain this. I don't know why you're here. Because for some of you, they're here for their own selfish motives. So external factors that would come into play would be as if they found someone else. Because we got a lot of pentacles here. So for some of you, this is all about you dealing with, you were dealing with someone who was somewhat of an opportunist. This is someone who looks at people as, okay, well, what they have tangibly as far as material um, uh, uh, possessions is what I'm going to use to gauge who I'm going to, you know, invest my energy, time, and, and, and attention to. And so at the time, maybe this person decided to go to someone else and left you behind because maybe they felt with the five of pentacles here that you didn't have anything. You didn't have what they wanted. 
So yeah, because the over, you know, with the how they felt about the relationship is they felt five of pentacles. So maybe they felt you didn't have enough money for them, or they looked at you as if based on what they saw, they didn't see anything that stood out as far as materialism. You know that would connect them to make them say, "Okay, I'm gonna put my anchor here." So they ended up leaving. They didn't even put in any work or effort into the relationship. They didn't even give it time to grow with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They just bounced. So, you know, external factors could be that somebody else comes around again. You know, maybe they see another lucrative opportunity or they, you know, do something for their own selfish reasons. So this would be the external factor. So in, in reality, the external factor is this person. Because, you know, if you build a house and your relationship represents a house, you're guarding the front door, this person's guarding the back door. Anybody who tries to come in to intrude into the house, if you're guarding the front door and they're guarding the back door, no one can get into your house to bring your house down. It's all about who lets that person in the house. So if this guard who's in the back door is not on duty, somebody else walks by that might look a little better, that might tempt them in some way, and then they let them in the house... Um, metaphorically meaning that they get intimate with this person you know what I mean despite letting you know what's going on despite the fact that you two had a, a deal to guard the relationship you guard the front I'll guard the back anybody who comes through we're not letting them in we're not letting them tear down our house no one else is coming into our house but see somebody at one of the doors fell victim to somebody who came in that's why the third party came in so this person came by looking a little bit shinier and newer. And so this person, not only did they let them in, they just dropped the, the position of being guard and took off. Took off. That's what happened. So now you have to be careful if this person comes back because you put them back on guard again. Say you decide you work things out. It's like, all right, I don't know about this, but I'm going to let you go ahead and guard the back door again. So the only external factor that would be, you know, hindering you to move forward is if the same thing happened again. Somebody better comes around. Say you guys did work things out and you decided, all right, I'll let you guard the back door. You guard the front door, you know, metaphorically regarding our relationship. This is our house. We're guarding our relationship. Six to eight weeks from now, if you guys decided, OK, let's do this. What would happen? Where would you guys be six to eight weeks from now? We got one too many. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at these cards first. So this moon energy, what is this What is this moon energy about? So you're. this is probably you, okay? This person could come back to you, and this is probably you. We have that clarified with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is probably, you know, you saying, okay, you're, you know, here you are back again. Someone's disappointed, okay? Somebody could be disappointed that things didn't work out in the past. Clarify this Ace of Cups in reverse. So we clarify that with the Eight of Swords. So we have the Eight of Swords showing up twice. So with the Eight of Swords energy showing up here, this is somebody who was confused about what went down. This um, moon card represents confusion. Like, wait a minute, I'm confused. So you don't love me. Okay, so now wait a minute now. What you were saying to me and how you were dealing with me it's not, you know, so somebody was playing mind games. Somebody had them, you know, someone thinking one thing and it was another. So there was a lack of communication here on either part. So the person who wasn't really sure what was going on, maybe they weren't asking enough questions. Or maybe they were just, you know, observing and watching what was going on and it wasn't making sense. While this other person was doing their actions here. But this other person who was doing their actions, they weren't clear as well. So there was a lot of, of, of confusion here. So this is what your relationship was all about here. Just confusion. People not knowing what was going on. Clarify this Eight of Swords. Yeah, so we got the King of Pentacles here. So somebody was trying to bring stability to the table here. Where another person wasn't. Okay? Okay. Another person wasn't. Yeah, somebody was trying to bring balance and stability to the situation because they didn't understand what was going on. They were trying to bring clarity. It wasn't making sense. And that's what I'm getting as far as the communication between you two. Now, how the person felt about you was they walked away from you. 
They stopped guarding the house and just bounced. Clarify this five of pentacles. Yeah, we have that clarified with the ten of cups. They just left. They left. Now, there was a relationship here and, and they just left. Why did they leave? Aha, look what popped out. The queen of pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry, queen of wands in reverse. So they left to be with someone else. Now they could have had children with this person that they went. This could be someone from their past. Okay, they could have went back to someone from their past. Someone that they had children with. Okay, or you guys could have been in a relationship. You had children and this person was seeing someone and they went to this person. See, we got the hangman in reverse coming out here. So this is you feeling like this person was a traitor. This is you. This is this person, you know, um, bringing cloud an illusion to the situation. Again, remember the moon energy is here because this person was not being clear. You didn't know what was going on. There were a lot of truths that were not being revealed. And with this hangman in reverse energy, that's Neptune energy. Neptune, when it is um, in, re it's in retrograde right now. So because you two, you may be just thinking about this person, recollecting about the situation, or this person may have approached you. But because Neptune is in retrograde and Mercury is in retrograde, you might be just reminiscing on the situation and getting clarity on it. Like, okay, I see the reality of the situation because maybe there wasn't clarity before. You couldn't see it before. You didn't understand it. But now you could be coming to the um, conclusion of what was really happening. Whether this person is revisiting you and communicating with you or whether you're reminiscing about this because of the retrograde energy. Clarify the, oops, clarify the hangman in reverse. Yeah, so we have the nine of swords. You were racking your brain about this. You were racking your brain about this situation, okay? Because again, underneath the deck, moon energy, this person was moving very mysteriously. There were things they weren't telling you. Now, as far as um, how this person felt about you deep down, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They just gave up. They didn't put any work in. That's what the Nine of Pentacles in reverse represents. In reference to, you know, a connection with someone. Someone just gave up quickly. There was also jealousy, envy, and it was financial setback. So this person, it was about money. So how they feel about you deep down, they could be jealous of you. They could be envious of you. Because hmm, we have that clarified with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay? Ten of Wands in reverse energy. Sagittarius energy. This person hmm, this person, how they felt about you, they felt that you have financial setbacks. And you have financial restraints, which is why they ended up leaving you for someone else. Because you didn't have the money that they wanted. You didn't have the financial situation. This person was looking for, this is all pentacles again. This person was looking for stability, okay? They were looking for someone who would be able to take care of them. See the six of pentacles here? They wanted someone who was going to be able to give them money. And then the king of pentacles, they wanted someone who was going to provide. The king is a provider. The king of pentacles, he's a provider. He provides for his family. He takes care of his family. So unfortunately, some of you women were dealing with a man who wanted um, security, financial security. This could have been a, a man who has Venus and Taurus. Looking for a woman who um, is financially stable, who can um, provide, if not, you know, provide, who can give equally, financially. Okay? Or what happens is there's no love. There's just a lot of confusion because they're looking at you like, hmm, they're watching you to see what you have financially. And because you didn't have what they wanted, they wasn't giving you any love. But they weren't being honest with you, telling you what was going on. You may have had a feeling that this was the case, but this is them saying, hmm, let me watch this person and see what they got financially. The eight of wands here. They're following their intuition, listening to the things that you're saying and not saying, looking around at what you got in your home or what how you dress and what you have, looking to confirm if... You can provide that financial stability that they wanted. Male or female, doesn't matter. Now, how they felt about the situation is after they investigated everything, they realized you don't have what they need with the Five of Pentacles. So they bounced. You didn't have it. So they bounced and they went, went to find someone else. So now either they were with you, they went to be with someone else is what I'm feeling strongly here. Now... Yeah, for some of you, they went to be with someone else. They went to have a family with someone else. Someone who they were having an affair with, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. 
Um, and, you know, they just left you. They didn't say shit. They just left you with the um, the uh, uh, Neptune card in reverse here. This is the uh, hangman in reverse. This is someone who's a traitor. This is someone who's deceitful. This is someone who, you know, painted a picture, an illusion of something other than what was there. And this left you distraught. And it may have left this person distraught too because this is how they felt about you. So they were stressed about how they did you. This is if they're coming back. If not, this is you in reference to, you know, how they, because this is how they felt about you and the situation overall. So they might have been stressed looking for some place to go or stressed. That, hmm, let's see what the stress is about. Why were they stressing? Because they damn sure left. So what the hell was they stressing about? Did they have a conscious? Because they acted, you know, they acted anyway. Nine of, okay. So we got the eight of, yeah, see, they, they eight of, um. They were frustrated. They were frustrated with the eight of pentacles. I'm sorry, eight of wands in reverse. But what were they frustrated about? Okay, they didn't want to leave you. But here's the five of pentacles again, clarifying the five of pentacles originally. So they didn't want to leave. But there was no money around with the page of pentacles in reverse. So they left. So this person was motivated by money. They cared about you, I believe. No, I don't believe they cared. They were. I think they were just looking for a, a, the best place to stay, financial stability and security, and it wasn't there with you. So they were stressed about how they were going to do things, and they left. Now, how they felt about you deep down was that you didn't have the finances that they need. So with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, they let you go. Okay? They let you go. Did they have any feeling behind letting you go? Again, some of you could just be reminiscing about this. It doesn't mean that this person is coming back to you. You could just be reminiscing about the situation, trying to get clarity. Let's take these two. Okay, so we have the Chariot in reverse and the King of Swords. So how they felt about you deep down, they felt like they couldn't move forward with you with the Chariot in reverse. So they, what did they do with the King of Swords? What did they do? They cut you off. Period. Point blank. Now... As far as this person's communication to you, were they honest? Were they, you know, did they tell you what was real? Was they, no, they didn't because we have the, the eight of swords here. All right. So you were looking at this situation. So for some of you where you're, re, you're um, recollecting, you're in retrospect about it. You're like, okay, my intuition was telling me something, but I didn't really pay attention to it. So that eight of wands, that eight of swords energy there where, you know what, I, I, I had a feeling about something, but I really didn't respond to it. I didn't really, you know, I knew it was something. I knew something was up, but I couldn't put my finger on it. This is what this Eight of Swords energy talks to me about as far as this person's communication to you. Will they walk the talk? Are they walking the talk? Were they walking the talk when they're with you? Were they telling you what was up? Were they standing by what they said? When they did something, when they said something, did they do it? There was a lot of contradictory energy here, but you saw it. With the eight of uh, swords here, but you just didn't act on it. Maybe you thought things would change. Maybe you thought something else was going on. Maybe you were just giving them the benefit of the doubt. Clarify this eight of swords. We got the king of swords. So what I'm getting here is with the King of Swords energy here, there was no real direct communication. I'm getting this person just cut you off. King of Swords. They may have ghosted. The King of Swords is showing up twice here. How they felt about you deep down and the communication with you. They were very cutthroat. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse showing up here. So in, internally, they were lying to you. They knew they were lying to you. And externally... They were not telling you the truth. So they were lying to you straight up either way. All right. And they were unapologetic about it with the Knight of Cups in reverse. That's how they felt. Clarify. Yeah. The star card here. Okay. Star card. They knew you had faith in the situation. They had hope in the situation. What, did, what was this faith about? What was this hope about? What's this faith and hope about? All right, that's way too many, guys. What's this faith and hope about? What did they have faith and hope about? 
the five of wands in reverse. So you have faith and hope in this situation that they would just be real with you and cut everything off. Maybe you felt like, okay, this person came to me. Maybe they're tying up loose ends. Maybe you knew they had a family with someone, all right? And um, you were just hoping that they would tie up loose ends and keep it 100 with you with the five of pentacles in reverse, uh, five of wands in reverse. They would cut all of that out and they would let you know it's up. So this is what you have faith in. You have faith in this person. You believed in this person. You didn't look at this person as someone who was trying to play you, okay? But that's what they did. Now, the six of wands in reverse here. I'm sorry, six of pentacles in reverse. This represents external factors that came between you all. This person's own selfish needs. Six of pentacles in reverse. We have that clarified with the ace of wands. See, they found something else. As soon as something new came, they bounced. They left, the, they left the guard. They were guarding the back door and they bounced. See? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They just dropped everything. and said bye. The friendship, the connection, the bond, they dropped everything and said bye and left you. You were the one who let them in. You were the one who took them in. You were the one who were making sure they were good. But they were looking at you like, you don't have what I need. This person has more. This other person has more. So they, they took it upon themselves to take control of the situation and leave the back door open and didn't tell you they were gone. Now, let's see. For some of you, this is you recollecting about the situation. For some of you, this is this person coming back to you and you're, you know, communicating with them and you're not sure if you should trust them. Okay? So six to eight weeks from now or six to eight weeks later after this happened, where do you and this person stand? Seven of swords. See? Six to eight weeks from then, after this happened, you realize this person deceived you. See this picture here? This is exactly how you were looking at this person. It's like you were on your lion. If you, if this person didn't have this mask on, you would have been jumped on their back and attacked them and told them to get out of here. This person had a mask on. So they were giving you an illusion that everything was okay. And you have faith in this situation. Clarify the seven of swords. Yeah, we have the fool card in reverse here. See, you, you jumped in, for some of you, you jumped in too soon with this person without thinking. You know, you jumped in head over heels real quick with them. A lot of you, you let them move in. And, and you weren't thinking. You did this carelessly without really taking the time to watch them and to see what was going on because they left someone else with the five of pentacles here. Clarify this fool card in reverse. Yeah, see the two of... They left for a better opportunity. The Two of Pentacles talks about taking a, a to me, this is my taking a dollar and how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. So you got you got something here, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to take from this to multiply so that you can have more. So this person, they left you to go be with someone else who had more money. Yep. Ace of Wands again. That's what it was. So this person was an opportunist. They were all about, and it wasn't love. See, with the Ace of Cups underneath the desk, it, it, that, it wasn't love. It was not love at all. This person was just all about money. They were all about what they could get from you. They were all about looking for the highest bidder. You didn't have what they needed after they assessed the situation. You took them in, didn't, you know, check to see what their interior motives were about, didn't take the time to really assess the situation. You let them in. They came in real quick, assessed the situation real quick, Said, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll guard the back door. I'll guard the connection we have. I'll guard the back. You guard the front. And while you're up here guarding the front, something better walks past, and they jump right at it, and they don't even say anything. They just freaking ghost. A lot of them just ghost you and leave you and go to be with someone else. So you're at a stage right now where you're reminiscing about this and or this person has come back to you. Now, if they've come back to you, this person is coming back to you because they see you doing better now. This is why they're coming back to you. They see you doing well. With the star card. And so now they're back. To do the same shit again. Mercury retrograde is here to teach you a lesson. Alright. You couldn't see what you you couldn't see what was going on before. Because uh, Neptune was uh, direct. Re Neptune is in retrograde right now. You're able to see the truth right now. You're able to see the truth in the situation. When you look back at it. You look at their behaviors and their actions. Why they showed up again. And if you got back with them six to eight weeks from now. This is what they would do. They would find another opportunity. The next opportunity that came around, they would deceive you because they scheming, looking at what you got, 
trying to see if there's something else they can get into. And that's what they would do. They would see if there was something else better, and if they were, they would jump on it. Let's get you some advice about this person or about this past experience. What advice does the universe want you to have if this person comes back around to you? Okay, building blocks. Perfect. What it is, this card here is it, it, it's telling me that you need to take your time with anybody. Not just this person if they come back around, but anybody. You take their time with these people. You go slow. Don't jump into intimacy with them so quickly. Don't allow them to move into your home so quickly. Don't allow them to know where you live so quickly. Take your time with them. Act like this is somebody you do not know. And for most of you, you can't trust them. So, you know, if they find you or they reach back out to you again and they want to communicate, if you want to talk because you just want to know what's going on or what their perspective is or whatever your connection reason or connection is, it's up to you. No shade, no judge. But make sure that if you do allow them back in your life, you go slow this time. You do not go fast this time. Your past experience has taught you with this person that you need to watch that ass. Watch that ass. Watch them. Okay? Because you don't know what they're up to. You have no idea. History is what you judge a person by until they show you otherwise. Especially for people who come back. Is there any other message? That you want the collective to know about this person who may be coming back or about the lesson learned in, in, in looking at this. Because full moon energy, we're all purging old emotions too. Okay? Old emotions, old feelings. See? You're regenerating yourself. Okay? So for a lot of you, this is just reminiscing. I'm, I'm sorry, reminiscing. For a lot of you, this person knows that they did you wrong and they want to come back and straighten things out. For a lot of you, this person did you wrong and they want to come back and do you wrong again. You're going to have to use your intuition on this situation. But what you're going to have to understand is that this person was looking at you, whether they're in, they're, if they come back and their intentions are good or not, they were looking at you based on what you had. And as a matter of fact, for some of you, this person who's coming back, they jumped at that person who looked better. They realized that all of that glitters was not gold. They realized that that person didn't have what you had. So that's why they're coming back to you. All right, that's for some of you. So take what resonates, leave the rest. I love you guys, and I hope you enjoy your 4th of July holiday. Peace out.